G'day guys and welcome to Gatekeeper's coverage of the 2023 New South Wales Open presented by MVP Disc Sports. We are at the Armoury Disc Golf Course in Sydney, Australia. This footage is brought to you by Rad, Gatekeeper Media and Parked Media. The commentary is brought to you by the Flying Disc Store. My name's Andrew Ferguson. I'm joined with Timmy Bowen, Paddy Robinson. Together we are the TL Podcast and we're back for the final back nine holes of the New South Wales Open. Yeah, pretty keen, guys. Uh, Austin started very well with five down there, four down all o- uh, overall. Leith is a bit behind now with a three over. Chris Hill, three over. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Absolutely. A seven-shot lead with only nine to play, I think. We can safely say Austin's in the driver's seat. As we move into hole 10, it's a 91-meter par three. Takes a forehand over the OB, or you can take on all of the trees with a backhand. That Ooh. is... Way too high, way too sawn off. And safe. That's layup in Parsville that all day. A full <laughs> shank, and somehow he's found the only inbound part of this whole property. That looks a little too turned over from Leith. It looks like it's getting oh, back. It's come back. It's a good reaction off the hill, and it gets it. And it has settled. Yep. Couldn't see from where he was. That's why he was paused on the tee, but uh, he'll be relieved to know that's inbounds with a long look for Birdie. Chili going for the backhand. Much trickier shot with the backhand. Oh, it's got a straight. Oh, oh, how did that stop? Settled nicely Good. on the hillside. More of that thick cooch. I like it. Oh, it's all about the cooch. Little A rig for the forehand. Pumping something over stable. Looks like it's turned oh, over back. a bit too much. Needs the path. Just got over oh. the gutter. Happy days. I think there is some OB on that far left side, too. Not that uh, Adam's found it, but. Yeah, Austin just laying up. Nice layup from Austin. Starting to see a bit more wind now. There's going to be some scary putts here. Has he got a window for the birdie? Oh, he's gone for it. Oh, Jesus, not quite high enough. All right, chilly from... Actually, inside circle. I didn't think they were that close. Oh, Beautiful yes. putt. Just riding that left to right wind. That Fantastic. That might be the first birdie we've seen from the back end on this hole as well. Mm. Leith, unfortunately, not quite giving it the height. It's quite hard to know how nose up and how high to putt when there's this much wind. That's right. I just lay up. <laughs> <laughs> As would I. Hole 11, what have we got here? It's a par four. It's 148 metres. We are punching one out across this road, and then we are trying to navigate a mandatory... Keeping to the right of that and then uh, putting our second throw hopefully down towards this basket which kind of pinches off to a peninsula with OB all around it. OB peninsulas are the law on this hole. Ooh. That's way too skinny from Chile. Hopefully it gets down. Oh, look oh. at that. That is a fortuitous roll. That is middle of the fairway. Yeah. Be able to punch a hyzer around the Mando from there. I mean, the good thing is he's probably only like 100 metres away from the pin now, so... He may still be able to get up. Oh, Austin he should, was, should get up and down. Austin was asking for fade there, but didn't quite get it. But he'll be in a fine spot. This looks nice from Leith. Yeah, this is more orthodox from from the card. And we saw Rigby do a massive sky oh, spike. Way too skinny. But no, he's he asking for it to get down because I think that's going to miss the Mando if it doesn't. I think and he's just short of it. Short, yeah. Got yeah. down in time. You can see this OB leading up to the Mando there. That's probably what he was worried about. Chili just taking his medicine to put this one round the Mando. He's not going to push it too hard. Yeah, he wants no part of going for the green. See how aggressive Austin is. He's got a bunch of strokes up his sleeve. Looks like he's very aggressive. Hanging that out over OB. Needs some skip off yes. the road. Fantastic. <laughs> I think Austin likes to stick to his plan. He doesn't go too, yeah. too safe. Don't know if I like the high hyzer bid from Leith here. No, he's kept it lower than I thought he would. That's a great upshot. Yeah, fantastic. Inside circle, look for the bird. Oh, yeah, Adam's Actually, yeah. not that tight. Putting it up and asking for some help from the wind. Beautiful oh, weight on this. It. Great shot. He's left with about eight metres, I reckon. Chilly, he would just simple little forehand. Oh, no, I don't no. like the look of that. Someone just came out. And I'm All not sorts just, of wrong. Yeah, I'm not Oof. commenting on his form there. It was very yanked. Oh, I don't like his form either. As we move on to these <laughs> upshot, he's missed it, unfortunately. So you have to settle for a par. I think it might be a bogey for Chile. Yeah. And Austin, another yeah. birdie for the card. Strutting it in as per usual. Fantastic. 
Here's Adam for that birdie from out yes. of position off the tee. Very Great nice. Work. Great work to Definitely capitalize on it. that. Leaf to tap in. Ooh, Ooh, very high. It's all right. It's in. Great catch from the uh, basket there. Yes, the disc catcher pro from 1987. Still in the job. <laughs> the isk <laughs> catcher. All right. Hole 12 is par 3, 116 metres. There is a righty forehand option, righty backhand option. you just got to navigate some OB and the trees. But uh, definitely in the wheelhouse of these four players. Yeah, I think if you've got the distance with your overstable disc, you may as well use it because the wind wreaking havoc if you're asking for disc to turn and whatnot. Austin's ignoring my advice, trying to get the perfect turn out of his DD3, and look at that. Wow. Yeah, showing us up. I need to stop talking. That was perfect from Austin. (laughs) Leaf here looking to do something similar. Very smooth. Good angle on that. Needs to beat the tree canopy there, and it looks like it's wrapping up a little short, being the first guardian. Adam, I reckon he's going that right line. No, he's going straight, and he's burnt it. Yeah, two turned over. I'm trying to think what the wind is doing here, fellas. Is it right to left now? Because it's burning these discs a bit. Oh, yeah, boy. I think I it th- is definitely pushing right to left and I dragging think, that thing over. I don't think that was the wind. I think that was Chili's full send as those two guys are keeping his, us in suspense. We don't know if that's inbounds or OB. I think it may have wrapped up just short of the OB. So very oh, no. lucky Adam from Chili. Oh, geez, just... Going for that small gap and unfortunately hitting and dropping outside the circle. I think I would have taken a low skipping forehand from yep. that spot. Yep. Nice. Play, play your percentages, eh, Tim? Oh, absolutely. So, Chili, I, I think he was in bounds. So I think this is for the bird. Not the best effort from Chili, but he's on the uh, yeah. good side for a tailwind putt. It's laying up. Adam needing this through one the to trees. Get through the trees. Ooh. Ooh. Little low. Good effort, though. Almost wriggled his way through the trees there. We see Leith, good comebacker. So Austin, fantastic drive. This is for yet another birdie. It's already six down. Basically a tap in. Dang. Yeah. That was pretty left, but that good catch. Seven down for the round already through 12 holes. Chili in for the par, so he was in bounds after all that. And Adam, unfortunately, another blemish on the card. Thirteen is a half four hundred and fifty seven meters. Need to throw a big backhand over the OB River, landing on the second island to have a nice angle to approach a heavily guarded basket in the trees here on a third island. Boys, island hopping on hole thirteen. Mm. Austin's looking for a nice big booming drive. Looks a little straight. Hopefully that's got the fade to get away from that OB. Oh, it's gonna be close. Very, very close. I think he's good. Got the thumbs up from that gentleman. Very lucky. Look at that. Half a metre. Don't think he liked that out of his hands, but... Yeah. He's in an ideal spot for yet another birdie. As we see Leith look to replicate that. That's a little right, but I think he's thrown it high and short enough to fade before the OB. Yep. Yep. Perfect good. spot. That's fine. Chili should be doing probably the same. Good angle. This... Will be very safe. Yeah. Using the yeah. whole fairway. <laughs> it's not really like one spot on that second island that's better than the other. You just need to be in bounds yeah. and then pick your gap. This one straight. The trees on the third island. A little straight and going for our cameraman, Ash. Is it going to stay in bounds? It's close. Oh, no. goodness me. Really? Oh. Far Millimeters. Out. Fantastic commitment from Ash. He danced around that one and still filmed it. Absolutely. Unfortunately, wrapped up OB for. Or Adam. Oh, that one tree. I think that was the tree that uh, knocked 
Austin OB in the first round. Yeah. To break a uh, nine down through 11. Adam Rigby scooting that one inside there. It won't be there next year, will it? <laughs> Chop it down with his... <laughs> oh, oh, this tree. Oh, oh no. There we go. Off the backboard, OB for Chile. That tree is causing some pain. Austin Ooh. trying not to think about that tree. And he hit it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Goodness me. Yes. You hate to That's... laugh, but... Oh, it man. It's funny. <laughs> Unfortunately, on the road there. Here's Adam. Ooh. Ooh. Little short. So the rest of the boys are going to have these looks for the par. This is going in. Come on. Oh, straight okay. to the tray. Hated it. Again, he said fruit salad. Definitely said fruit salad then. I saw vacuum. Yeah. He knows that he's missed so early. As we see Chile unable to make it as well. Austin knows he's missed so early. I think he's made up his mind whether it's in or out before oh, he's even beautiful picked putt. up his putter. Great shape on that Leaf. putt from Leaf. Fantastic birdie. Needed that because Austin was absolutely running away with it. It's going to say the comeback's on, fellas. Mm. <laughs> There's time. Here it comes. After a bit of a rough start, that uh, 54 metre par three really undid Leith's round. He's now one under par, so he certainly turned things around and right at the ship as we move on to hole 14. Fergie, what are we looking at? We're looking at Austin's nightmare from the previous round, yeah. uh, also round one. We've got a 116 metre par three. There's OB that wraps all around the basket, it pinches off. Uh, quite tight. You're definitely going to place your drive. Backhand is probably the play. This looks like just a play for par. I think with that sweeping crosswind, you have to hang it out over OB and get it down before the OB on the left. It's uh, asking a lot. Austin's gone for it, though. And, yeah, he's come up a little short. Very short. Unintentional layup, I think. Just uh, erring on the side of caution. Yeah. In this wind, it's just very scary. It's whipping round and... I'd say the experience from round two is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Our MA4 card has listened and yeah. uh, learnt. <laughs> They've uh, changed some of their game plans for sure. Adam's plus six on the round. I'm sure he doesn't care what happens here. He's going for it. Hey, nice. Fantastic commitment. I like the line. And it's taking an eternity. Oh, oh, yeah. yes. There you go. He is parked. That's how you do it, fellas. <laughs> Nothing to lose. <laughs> what a shot from Adam. Actually, being from uh, Jindy, I reckon he'd be used to a bit of wind. Yeah, it does love oh, a gust up there. That is close to OB, but it's just in bounds for Chile. Oh, boy. Leith a little low, but no, that's not too That's not too bad. Ooh, Austin whoa, with a stepper that, that just comes out right. Very late release from Austin, but he's on the strong side for the tailwind part. Ugh. This is the last thing you want is just like... <laughs> a layup, a yeah. A test apart after going for the layup play. Oh, oh that rose up. Yeah, if you're going to lay it up, you want to put it under the basket, that's for that's for sure. Chili makes good on the par. And uh, Adam's going to get some much-needed strokes on the card on this hole. Once we get to his drive, of course. Yeah. Still not Still out. Still out. Leith and uh, Austin in for the bogey. As we see Adam step up... Just oh, just clean it up, fellas. Yep, no worries. Oh, yes. except for in for the bird. Very good. Very happy. <laughs> Here we go. Hole 15, 107 meter par three. Lots of OB on the left hand side here, but a pretty open backhand hyzer for these boys. Shouldn't be uh, too hard. I think we're on the right side of the wind. And here we go. It's time to get ready to wriggle. We've got Adam Rigby front of the box. Oh, Ooh. fantastic. It's holding very straight. He's wearing red as well. I think we call him the red wiggle. <laughs> <He's> a, <laughs> <laughs> Just settling outside circle, but he'll have a birdie look. Hopefully he can keep the front of the box for one more hole. Uh, the Ooh, oh, the, full, the grunt. Full grunt with the stall. Love the weight. This is... Ooh, Ooh, yes. Very, very nice. Chili learned from Adam last, last hole. Great to see a gallery out watching these boys in the breeze. Smooth hyzer from Leith. Oh, it's dancing oh, in the bounce. window. Get out of it. Sit. Needs to get down before that OB line, and unfortunately oh. it has crossed it, so here's OB. That was a little unlucky. There was a nasty air bounce there. Yeah, Pop the that thing out. I think he's in circle two, so a chance to save the par. Austin begging for some fade. Hopefully he hasn't gone too long to find that OB. No, look at that. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Fantastic rip. 
I think that's his uh, FD3, so good distance from the FD3. Yeah, Leith. Nah, not really. Yeah, it doesn't want it. Not really runnable. And Listen to the wind. Here's Adam for that look. Nah, he gave it a little, like, floaty bid, but that's never going in. It's becoming a bit of a battle for uh, second place here as well. Beautiful putt from Austin. Especially after that. Yeah, look, I think... What has he got? Seven shots on Leith, who's in second place with only three holes to play. I think we can safely say, unless he finds consecutive OBs, he's home. So we see Chili make good on a fantastic drive. Does this mean uh, he's going to be tied with Leith? uh, Tied for second? Yeah, he certainly is. And Leith is taking his time on this headwind part. He's so close, but the wind did did rise up on him, Mm. didn't it? Yeah, fortunate that that stayed in the tray. We see Adam settle for that par. Oz Discs. Powering Team Heiser Flight. Hole 16, a par for 137 metres. You've got basically three islands to uh, to navigate here. You can either choose to uh, lay up and then take the second, then approach with the third island, or go full gun and try and make it the whole way. I think Chile here is opting to go for that second island. I want to see someone go for the third island. I mean, maybe not while the other card is putting out, but... Uh... <laughs> Look at all the flags in the OB. Look, if it takes more than two sentences to explain the hole to me, I'm just going to go, look, I see basket. I'm going for the basket. <laughs> Give me my penalties later. I mean, can you imagine the players' meeting of this co- of, of this tournament? <laughs> nice and straight from Adam. That's Asking perfect. for it to get down before it goes long of the second island, but fantastic shot. I definitely know a couple of lads from WA who I reckon would go for the pin on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Good I would. controlled forehand from Leith. As you said, it's a battle for second place at the moment. Leith and Chile tied up at plus three. Oh, Austin's come back, come back. Put some good move on this. this and is, yes. Very good. I mean, we've seen Austin go OB four a couple of times here. I think. Yeah, yeah. Be good to uh, just take your medicine, play it smart. Settle, settle, ooh, settle. Ooh, is this long? That's no. inbounds for Chile. So over to Leith. Chili's not parked, so... Oh, yeah. is that short? No, that's fine. That's snuck on there. Beautiful. Yeah. Adam. I reckon he's only got about After four metres. drive. This looks pretty good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, textbook. Oh, Breaking the hole down for a birdie. Well done, boys. Oh, Chili. Tried to finesse that Anheuser part into the crosswind, and unfortunately it didn't quite get the turn. Well, the wind's whipped up. Yep. The gusts, it was very inconsistent from all reports. Putting with the logic. And oh, oh, no. Just didn't want to commit to that one. Yeah. The wind got in his head. And look, it stopped flapping yeah. for Austin. Yeah. Just very temperamental, the wind. Great birdie from Austin. I reckon that's what they're talking about, too. Yeah. <laughs> there was actually a break. There was a seven-hour break then. There was a tornado <laughs> that uh, yeah. came after at least. No. You get 30 seconds, but unfortunately 30 seconds feels like about four seconds when you're waiting for the wind to subside. Mm. You see Chile in for the par, Leith in for the par, no change to second place. All right, next up, hole 17, the only par 5, 248 metres. There's a couple of mandos to navigate, but uh, yeah, you want to get into this sort of area, I reckon, about here, uh, backhand, forehand, and then a big backhand to approach the basket. Don't want to go too long and don't want to hit any trees. We saw Austin take a very aggressive backhand turnover on the second shot that got massive distance. Let's see if he does something similar again. He's eyeing off the spy Kaiser to just beat the first two Mandos. I think now he's a little bit more comfortable with his lead. Oh, lucky Ash on catch cam is wearing the helmet because that was <laughs> headhunting eagle style. Here we go. Oh, Adam's soaring this one off. It's oh, be, he's made the Mando, but... Oh, did he? I think so. He's flirting with OB there. Too. Hard to tell. I think no, he's out yeah. yeah, I think he did miss that first Mando. Oh, yeah. Here's the Rask from Chile. Ooh, Ooh, very geez. low. Worm burner. 
I don't think the Reeds were in play, but they were in play for that drive. But not a bad result. Over to Leith to follow suit, and that's yeah, very that's nicely weighted. Exactly what I thought Leith would do. Very, ex- yeah, very smooth. So it'll be interesting to see if Adam got around the Mando. No, he's over at the drop zone. He did go short of the first Mando. Going the roller. Oh, wow. Great line. Jeez. <laughs> I thought that was in trouble, but he's done that very well. He's going to have a uh, relatively good position to get up and down for the par save. Chilly from the drop zone. Look at the whip on the forehand. That is huge up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Great good position. Spot. I imagine Leith will probably go for more of a backhand from where he is, but we'll wait and see. See Austin. He's got a beautiful forehand for this sort of shot. Good distance up the hill. No, Leith is going for the forehand as well. Yeah, just going for position. Not being super aggressive. Well, he knows Chili's got one penalty stroke already, so... He's definitely not going to try and push it. Has Chili got one on this hole? I don't think he has. I think it was Adam that was short, so... I thought Chile was the uh, from the throw from the uh, drop. I side. think that's just where he drive. Oh, yeah, drive landed. Really yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. The worm burner, as yep. you coined it. Here we go. This yarn's been seeking the basket all day, hanging it out. Looks a little sawn off, maybe a little short. Just outside circle, maybe just crept inside circle for the birdie look. Adam's eyeing off a bit of the sky. Yeah, he'll want to get this pretty close. Try and get up and down. He's come up a little short as well, but that'll certainly be within his wheelhouse for the par save. Let's see if Leith can put it close, put some pressure on Chile for second place. Hanging it up nice and high. Mm, this looks fantastic. That is pin high to the right. Should have a short putt for the birdie. Ooh, Ooh, great attempt from Austin. He's ready for a beer, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> it is tough. It's grueling. It's, we've mentioned the wind too. It, it was actually very hot as well. Yeah. Eat. Great birdie from Chile. Jeez, Chile. Putting some pressure. pressure. On yeah. I think the Mercury reached 36 degrees Celsius today. Yeah, right. So very, very it's hot. hot. It's a hot win. Solid putt there from Adam. Adam, great pass save after missing the first Mando. Here's Leith. Yes, Oof. he's in for the birdie. So Pucks it in low left. That'll leave Chile and Leith both on plus two with the treacherous hole 18 to finish. And here we are. Hole 18. It's only 62 metres, but there is a triple Mando and OB long. Just takes a a straight putter shot, this one. But uh, when you're tied up for second place, the pressure's going to be on Leith and Chili to put it close. you just got to go for the ace here, don't you? I think maybe parking it would be a wiser (laughs) option, Paddy. But uh, you do you. Nah, go for (laughs) the win, You do you, boo. (laughs) Here's Chili. This berg was absolutely parked. In round one, let's see how it goes in round three. Oh, Ooh, no. <laughs> Asking too much, and unfortunately, oh. that has gone. He, he was going for the ace. So, Leith, he can play it quite conservatively, and yep. he's done exactly that. He wants to under the bar. Through, scooting it through the Mando. He'll be able to lay that up. He's got the luxury of laying that up for a par and taking second place. Ooh, Austin. Oh, Jesus. Austin, off the cross band. Goodness me. This cross band is like... 10 centimetres wide, and it's been hit a couple of times, as oh we no. see. Yeah, Adam just turned that one over a bit too much. Adam OB Rigby, unfortunately, racking up another penalty stroke. Chili from the drop zone. He needed that to put the pressure on Leith. Unfortunately, couldn't really give oh, it a confident run. Oh, no, I love the line from Adam. Austin. As we see Austin laying up. Laying up. Well done. That'll wrap up the win. And his second big... A tier, oh, Australian A tier win for Austin after the WA Open. He's definitely on a tear, isn't he? Mm, one to beat. Let's see. Adam clean up the bogey. Chile will clean up the bogey. And big shout out to Leith wrapping up a second place in uh, quite a strong field at the New South Wales Open. As we see, Austin almost getting a spin out. <laughs> but it stayed in. Well done, mate. Huge win. Congratulations. He basically got it done with that red hot front nine in the first round. Definitely set him up, didn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somehow managed to survive that wind of the second round. The wind and the heat. All right. Well, let's have a look at the back nine results. So Austin had a total of uh, seven down for the round, even for Leith, one down for Chile, and uh, Rigby with a five over. As we look at the full leaderboard, 
Uh, Reese Wisniewski with a, a, a 14 over total. Jade Brady, 16 over. That's not a good showing from Jade. He's a much better disc golfer than that. Ollie at plus 18 and Dwayne rounding out the top eight. All right. Big thanks to Rad, Gatekeeper Media and Park Media for the fantastic coverage. I'm Paddy Robinson. I've got Andrew Fergie Ferguson and Tim Bowen here. We are the Tee Off Podcast. Until next time, we hope you get out and play some disc golf with your mates.